The Chicago Bears have fired their offensive coordinator, Mark Helfrich. They also fired a number of other assistant head coaches, uh, assistant coaches. And uh, they're keeping their head coach, Matt Nagy. I, I like that movie. I think Matt Nagy's not awful. Now, here's the real kicker, though. The Bears are also committing to Mitchell Trubisky as their starting quarterback for the 2020 season. <sighs> oh, boy. Oh, it's, just, it's, it's tragic. I mean, the Bears' management, from the ownership to the general manager, Ryan Pace, the Bears just cannot admit they were wrong about drafting Mitchell Trubisky. The Bears, if you remember, they moved up in the NFL draft to draft Mitchell Trubisky ahead of Patrick Mahomes, who's won an NFL MVP and ahead of Deshaun Watson. You can't blame them, I guess, for Mahomes because Mahomes was unknown as a prospect yet, but Deshaun Watson was very clearly a better quarterback than Mitchell Trubisky. They chose Trubisky over Deshaun Watson, and they just can't own the, that they screwed up. I mean, the fact they can't admit they were wrong is so, so awful to me. Um, you know, a huge important part of life is the ability to take in new information and change your mind. When you learn new information, you got to be willing to go, hey, let's reevaluate. Things might have changed. And, you know, that's something I'm really proud of with Strong Opinion Sports is that when I'm wrong, I'm willing to admit it. I'm willing to say, hey, I screwed up. I got this wrong. Uh, you need to be willing to have an open mind. And we're three years into Mitchell Trubisky as the Bears quarterback, and he's shown us what he is. He's not a good, he's a limited, he's a quarterback with a limited arm. He's got limited arm talent. He regularly makes bad decisions. He's inaccurate. He struggles to identify matchups. The harsh reality about Mitchell Trubisky is that he's just not good enough. And I, I know people that know him. They, they say he's a nice guy. And I, I'm awesome. I'm sure he's a nice guy. But being a nice guy doesn't make you a good quarterback. And he's not a good quarterback. And that's the problem. Um, the Bears are wasting years of their franchise because of their inability to move on and admit that they were wrong when they drafted him. That's sad. That's heartbreaking. I hope you learn from the Bears' mistake. If you see something in life and you're like, hey, I have new information, and it's been three years, and clearly this thing is not what I thought it was, or this thing is not working, don't be afraid to change your mind. Don't be afraid in life to say, hey, I was wrong. Because there's nothing wrong with admitting you're wrong. But you got to just do it. I, I just The fact that I think the Bears are going to waste two more years of Mitchell Trubisky before they finally admit, hey, we made the wrong choice, and their ego is getting in the way of them being a successful franchise. It's just painful to watch. And I, I just, man, I, it's very sad. I feel very, very sad for Chicago Bears fans.